dinosaurs. They're undeniably amazing. This planet has witnessed countless life forms, many of which have left behind traces of their existence in the form of fossils. Dinosaur fossils from the Jurassic period have been discovered. These ancient remains tell fascinating stories of prehistoric creatures, giving us a glimpse into a world that existed millions of years ago. From towering giants that once roamed the Earth to creatures with wings that dominated the skies, the fossils of these ancient beings continue to capture our imagination. I believe it could be one of the largest creatures to have ever walked the Earth. Today, we'll dive into 10 of the most famous and significant prehistoric fossils ever discovered. Get ready for a journey through time as we uncover some of the Earth's oldest secrets. The Uteranus. The Uteranus is a fascinating discovery that has reshaped our understanding of theropod dinosaurs. Found in northeastern China, this dinosaur lived during the Cretaceous period, about 125 million years ago. What sets the Uteranus apart from other dinosaurs is its feathers. These large predators, about 30 feet long and weighing about one and a half tons, had long filamentous feathers covering most of their bodies. This was the largest feathered dinosaur ever discovered. This fossil challenges the idea that all theropods were scaly. Scientists speculate that the feathers helped Uteranus regulate its body heat in cooler climates. This discovery suggests that theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex might have also had feathers, although definitive proof is still lacking. The Uteranus also provides valuable insight into feather evolution, showing that these structures might have been used for warmth long before flight evolved. The Patagotitan in 2012, a farmer in Argentina made a remarkable discovery, fossilized bones from a massive herbivorous dinosaur. This dinosaur, now named Patagotitan Maiorum, is thought to be one of the largest dinosaurs ever to walk the Earth. Measuring 122 feet in length and weighing over 70 tons, the Patagotitan dwarfed a blue whale and was far heavier than a dozen African elephants combined. The Patagotitan lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 95 to 102 million years ago. Its discovery has sparked debates among paleontologists. Is it the largest dinosaur, or does Argentinosaurus still hold that title? Researchers believe the growth of flowering plants during this era contributed to the gigantism of sauropods. The Patagotitan is one of the most complete fossils of its kind, and scientists are eager to discover more about its massive size and evolutionary significance. The Hadrosaurus The Hadrosaurus, often called the duck-billed dinosaur, was a herbivore that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 80 million years ago. It was widespread across Europe, North America, and Asia. These dinosaurs were known for their unique broad and flattened skulls, resembling the bill of a duck, which allowed them to easily consume vegetation. The Hadrosaurus was a bipedal dinosaur that could also move on all fours. It was able to run on its two legs to escape predators, which suggests it relied on speed for defense. One of the most notable finds was made in 1999 with the discovery of a well-preserved Hadrosaurus specimen named Dakota. This fossil, often referred to as a mummy, was so well-preserved that it included skin, muscles, and ligaments. The Hadrosaurus was more muscular than once believed, and its anatomy has offered new insights into dinosaur biology. The Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, or T. rex, is one of the most iconic dinosaurs and a symbol of prehistoric power. This massive predator, which lived during the late Cretaceous period about 66 to 68 million years ago, is famous for its large skull, powerful bite, and fearsome reputation. With a bite force of 8,000 pounds, it could crush bones with ease. Recent research suggests that adult T. rex specimens might have been covered in feathers, challenging earlier views that all theropods were scaly. The most complete T. rex fossil, nicknamed Sue, was discovered in 1990. Standing 12 feet tall at the hips and measuring 40 feet in length, Sue's skeleton is over 90% complete. Sue's discovery has provided scientists with invaluable data about T. rex's anatomy, behavior, and role as an apex predator in its ecosystem. The Gigantosaurs The Giganotosaurus is an imposing dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 100 million years ago, in present-day Argentina. 
While it may not have been as famous as the T-Rex, the Giganotosaurus was even larger, reaching lengths of up to 45 feet and weighing around 15 tons. This massive predator could run at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, making it an efficient hunter. One of the key findings of the Giganotosaurus is a nearly 70% complete skeleton discovered in Patagonia in the 1990s. We are in the middle of the Dinosaurs Argentinos exhibition that came out of Patagonia. This discovery provided vital information about the dinosaur's structure, size, and hunting strategies. Giganotosaurus measured 47 feet in length. The skull is six feet in length. The Giganotosaurus likely preyed on large herbivores, such as sauropods, and used its impressive speed and strength to overpower them. Although much of its lifestyle remains speculative, the Giganotosaurus fossil is a key discovery in the study of large theropods. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Iguanodon. The Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered and holds a special place in paleontological history. In 1825, the first specimen, a large tooth, was found and misidentified as the tooth of a giant iguana. Over the years, more fossils were found, leading to the realization that the Iguanodon was a massive herbivore with distinctive thumb spikes. The Iguanodon lived from the Jurassic to the Cretaceous period and could walk on both two and four legs. It was about 13 meters long and weighed around 3.4 tons. One of the most important fossil discoveries of the Iguanodon came in 1878 when 14 perfectly preserved skeletons were found in Belgium. These fossils allowed scientists to reconstruct the Iguanodon's posture and appearance, dispelling earlier misconceptions. The discovery of the Iguanodon helped establish the concept of dinosaurs as a distinct group of reptiles, separate from other animals. The Mosasaurus The Mosasaurus was a fearsome marine reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 70 million years ago. Unlike dinosaurs, Mosasaurus was a member of the reptilian group called squamates, related to modern-day lizards and snakes. It grew up to 56 feet long and could weigh as much as 30,000 pounds, making it one of the largest marine predators of its time. With powerful jaws and cone-shaped teeth, the Mosasaurus preyed on fish, turtles, and even other marine reptiles. Its body was built for speed, with tail flukes similar to those of sharks allowing it to cruise efficiently through the water. Had the largest eye known of any animal, which would have given it extremely acute eyesight. Fossils of Mosasaurus have been found worldwide, and some were even hidden during wartime and sold for wine. These fossils played a pivotal role in understanding prehistoric marine life and the diversity of creatures that once dominated Earth's oceans. The Archaeopteryx. The Archaeopteryx is widely considered the first bird, a crucial transitional species between dinosaurs and modern avians. Discovered in 1860 in southern Germany, it was a small dinosaur about the size of a raven. While the Archaeopteryx had flight feathers, it also retained many dinosaur-like features, such as sharp teeth, long jaws, and a bony tail. The discovery of the Archaeopteryx provided crucial evidence supporting Charles Darwin's theory of evolution showing that birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. Eleven well-preserved specimens have been found, and their feathers reveal that the Archaeopteryx had black feathers, suggesting early birds may have been darker in color. This discovery has provided invaluable insight into the evolution of flight, helping paleontologists understand how feathers developed in dinosaurs before being adapted for flying. The Diplodocus The Diplodocus was a massive, long-necked herbivore that lived during the late Jurassic period, around 155 million years ago. Measuring over 100 feet in length, it is one of the largest dinosaurs known. Its long tail and neck helped it reach high vegetation, while its body remained relatively slender, making it an efficient feeder. One of the most intriguing aspects of Diplodocus is the mystery surrounding its skull. Despite many Diplodocus fossils being found, no complete skull has been discovered, leaving scientists to hypothesize what it might have looked like. The Diplodocus was likely a gentle giant, feeding on ferns and conifers. Its fossils have been found in numerous locations, and its iconic long neck has made it a favorite in popular media. Today, Diplodocus remains one of the most recognizable dinosaurs. 
Megalosaurus. The Megalosaurus holds a special place in paleontology as one of the first dinosaurs ever identified. In 1676, a fragmentary bone was found in Oxfordshire, England, initially thought to belong to a Roman war elephant. It wasn't until 1827 that it was recognized as a dinosaur and named Megalosaurus. The Megalosaurus was a large carnivorous dinosaur that lived during the Middle Jurassic period, around 165 million years ago. It likely measured about 30 feet in length and weighed around 2,200 pounds. Although no complete specimen has been found, its large head, powerful jaws, and sharp teeth suggest it was a formidable predator. Its discovery helped lay the foundation for dinosaur studies and established Megalosaurus as one of the first known meat-eating dinosaurs. And there you have it, 10 of the most famous prehistoric fossils ever discovered. Each of these remarkable finds helps us piece together the story of life on Earth long before humans walked the planet. From the massive Patagodotan to the feathered Uteranus, these fossils remind us just how diverse and awe-inspiring the prehistoric world was. Which of these discoveries fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories from the ancient world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.